Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Nexus in Heroes of the Storm. We have a couple of big patches going on in the Blizzard games today. One of which is, of course, the patch featuring our newest hero. A hero that I have heard a lot of people ask for. The Lord of Hatred from Diablo, Mephisto. He was in Diablo 2 from what I uh, know about the story um, he was des destroyed in Diablo 2 which is why he uh, is not in Diablo 3 for anyone like myself who perhaps only played Diablo 3 and did not get to play Diablo 2 back in the day um, so it's going to be a mix of people who have that nostalgic tie-in with Mephisto and people like myself who doesn't have that nostalgic tie-in but of course because he's one of the uh, original three um, prime evils. Uh, it was him, Baal, the Lord of Destruction, and Diablo. Um, I'm glad that his character is getting added. Uh, it's actually a known, notable character, unlike others. Uh, <coughs> Probius. <clears throat> anyway, uh, the Lord of Hatred, Dual Mephistos, the Lord of Hatred, is said to be the most cunning among his brethren. Even while imprisoned in the Soul Stone, his vile influence corrupted the Zakarun and manipulated them into breaking the seal, giving him free reign to reunite the prime evils and enslave humanity. So, that is why, if you see my uh, playthrough of Diablo 3, when I played the Crusader... He's ta constantly uh, talking about saving the Zacharoom from the corruption that Mephisto uh, put on them. Because he was uh, in Sleither for so long, he just was like, I'm just going to spend time corrupting them. You know, probably should not have had him so close to be able to do that. But anyway, uh, in terms of how he plays in the game here, he is labeled as a ranged assassin. Uh, before we look at his kit, let's look at his skins. This is his default look. Uh, I saw some footage of Diablo 2. Apparently, this is uh, pretty accurate. Although, obviously, a little bit more uh, detailed with uh, the current uh, graphics of the day. Noxious Mephisto. Hollow Mephisto. Soulborn Mephisto. Uh, actually, actually, I take it back. I heard that it used to be like just skin and bones and intestines. And they wanted to put a bit more skin on there to make him look a little bit uh, less gruesome. Uh, grotesque. And Golden Mephisto. Oh my. He's so shiny. And then we have some interesting alternate skins. Star Wraith Mephisto. Look at their tubes. It's mainly a, a robot now. Eternal Star Wraith Mephisto. And Cybernetic Star Wraith Mephisto. Interesting. So anyway, now let's talk about his kit. His Q is Skull Missile, Conjury Skull that travels in the target direction after 0.75 seconds, dealing 127 damage to enemies hit and slowing enemy slowing heroes hit by 25% for two seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. His W, Lightning Nova, a ring of lightning appears around Mephisto for two and a half seconds. Enemies within the ring, uh, although that's a little misleading. The tooltip is a little misleading. Uh, take 48 damage every 0.25 seconds. You know, it says it enemies within the ring, but in actuality, it's enemies that are within contact of the actual ring. It's a little hard to verbally describe. Uh, I will visually show you what I'm talking about uh, when we get into the game, uh, because and you'll see why it's a little misleading and why it's actually not quite as good as I thought it was going to be. Shade of Mephisto. Teleport to a location, dealing 78 damage to nearby enemy uh, enemies and leaving behind a shade of Mephisto at Mephisto's original location. After two and a half seconds, Mephisto is teleported back to the shade's location. I tested this, and unfortunately, it looks like you cannot manually uh, decide when to teleport back. So that's that could be a drawback. And his trait is Lord of Hatred. Hitting enemy heroes with basic abilities reduces Mephisto's basic ability cooldowns. It's battle momentum. Skull Missile and Shade of Mephisto grant one and a half seconds of cooldown reduction per hero hit. Lightning Nova grants 0.3 seconds per hero hit. His two heroics. This first is Consume Souls. Channel for two and a half seconds, revealing any, all enemy heroes. After the channel completes, all enemy heroes take 357 damage and are slowed by 40% for two and a half seconds. Durance of Hate. After one second, unleash a wave of evil spirits that root the first enemy hero hit for two seconds and deal 160 damage to them over the same duration. 
Durance of Hate spent, spreads outwards from its original target, rooting and damaging additional enemy, nearby enemy heroes. You can probably guess from the descriptions which one is the more appealing one, right now anyway. I have yet to see anyone actually pick this one over this one. It just, it doesn't seem nearly as appealing as this one does. It's not a very well-designed one in terms, you know, people think it's kind of cheap. I've heard some people talk about how they hate the idea of him just giving him a, a global ult that all he has to do is just channel and he just reveals and damages anyone, uh, everyone on the enemy team, regardless of where they are on the map. But anyway, that's a different discussion for a different day. His tool, his, uh, t excuse me, his talent tree, uh, quest for his Q, hit heroes with skull missile, uh, increase the damage, and the cooldown is permanently reduced. I mean, if you're good at skill shots, this could be a way to go, but it seems a little underwhelming, the, the, the build for the Q anyway, at least in my opinion. Uh, Furious Spark, every fifth hit from Lightning Nova against the target deals 90 bonus damage. Eh. Shade of Mephisto grants 20% spell power while active, and, uh, for two and a half seconds after ending. Basic attacks against enemy heroes also activate Lord of Hatred, reducing basic ability cooldowns by 0.25 seconds. So if you really want to emphasize that battle momentum, uh, there is a build for that, starting with uh, Anger. Hateful Mending. Skull Missile deals uh, heals Mephisto for 50% of the damage it deals to heroes. But again, only if you can actually land the skill shot. Static Barrier. At the end of its duration, Lightning Nova grants Mephisto a shield equal to 50% of the damage it dealt to heroes last 7 seconds. Spite. Increase regeneration globe healing duration by 60%. Now that's interesting. Every tick of regeneration globe healing activates Lord of Hatred, reducing basic ability cooldowns by half a second. Ghastly Armor. Shade of Mephisto grants 20 armor while active and for 2.5 seconds after it ends. Enemies near Shade of Mephisto are slowed by 50% for 2 seconds. Hitting enemies with Skull Missile while Shade of Mephisto is active increases its slow to 50%. Trickery. Shade of Mephisto grants 20% movement speed while active and for 2.5 seconds after it ends, after Shade of Mephisto expires, all Souls and Roots are removed from Mephisto. I mean, if you're going to be using this aggressively, I think getting the armor is going to help out, especially if you're going to be using it like to blink behind a gate or something like that. And then the ults, level 13, Abhorred Skull. Hitting a hero with Skull Missile grants 20% spell power for 6 seconds. Hysteria, Lord of Hatred also reduces the cooldown of Mephisto's heroic ability. Hello. A battle momentum for his ult, which back in the old days of the alpha and the beta, that used to be a thing. That used to be a thing. Shard of Hate, basic attacks hit enemies near the primary target. Splash damage. Lightning Reaction, Skull Missile, explodes on contact with Lightning Nova, dealing 144. This is one of the weirdest, just odd talents that, you know, because I saw it tested by Pally when he was testing it out at GamesCon, and it just did not really seem that great. It seemed very odd and underwhelming. Like, I don't know if anyone's actually going to take that. When Lightning Nova's damage, uh... Bonus reaches 40%. Enemy heroes within its radius take damage equal to 12% of their maximum health. Percent damage. There we go. Uh, activate to extend the duration of Lightning Nova by 2.5 seconds. Basic attacks while Lightning Nova is active cause an immediate pulse of Lightning Nova damage. And level 20. Consumed souls deal bonus damage and equal to 10% of the target's maximum uh, missing health. Excuse me. If Consumed Souls initial cast kills a hero, it will cast one additional time. Just for the record, this does not keep chaining like over like like someone dies, it goes off again. Someone dies, it goes off again. No, it only does it one additional time. Just one. Only one. Even, despite some devs thinking it was going to do the chain react. No, it doesn't do that. Only one additional time. I saw this tested out at GamesCon. It's only one additional time. Unspeakable Horror. Durance of Hate silences enemies for three seconds after its root expires. Now that could be really good if you are using it against certain heroes not rooting them first and then silencing them for three whole seconds that's pretty that's pretty uh that's pretty good so i would say the level 20 upgrade could be worth getting that durance of hate if you plan to get that other one but let's look at the other two mimic while both shade of mephisto and lightning nova are active lightning nova also casts from the shades location 
Shade Lord. Six second cooldown. Activate the swap locations with the Shade of Mephisto and refresh its duration. Shade of Mephisto benefits from all of Mephisto's level 7 talents. So it would get all three of these. That's pretty good. Especially giving the ability to actually swap places with it. That could open up different possibilities. So, I kind of started to lean towards a trait build. But let's take a look at Mephisto in action. Oh, let me turn the uh, game sound uh, back up. I had it turned off during that because I don't want Mephisto constantly yelling at me like, Hey! Hey, I hate waiting. Hey, let's do something. Hey, hey, let's play. Hey. They do that in the in the gallery when you're looking at their stuff in, in, uh, in that screen there. So I usually like to have the sound turned down for the game so that I don't hear them all the time. Because it used to interrupt me all the time back when I first started making videos of this. And it started to drive me crazy. And I realized it was also interrupting what I was saying and kind of drowning me. But let's, uh, once we get in here, I'll show you how his kit actually works and looks. To get you an idea of uh, how these abilities are actually working. Alright, before we do that, though. The dance? Oh, I'm sorry, the taunt? And now the dance. <laughs> Not really sure what that's referencing. Alright, so. His Q. Pretty good range, huh? Notice the delay. So, it's not going to immediately shoot out like some other skill shots. It has a delay. So, you're going to have to wait a bit. Or you're going to have to time it where it shoots out before you can be able to actually get it to hit your target. Now, the W. This is what I was talking about. You see that ring on the outside there? Yeah. So, I thought, like, within the entire radius deals damage. That's not the case at all. It is saying that they take damage within the ring. Not within the, like, the whole ring. Only here. Like this area right here. This tiny little small area. That is the only area that deals damage. Oh, and you want to see his uh, shade? Boop. I can move over and pew, I'm back. So you can think of it sort of like a uh, like a Zeratul blink. Except that you can't decide when to blink back. You have to let it go the whole duration. I mean, with the battle momentum, it does open up really cool gameplay, you know, capability and options and such. You can launch that when you're there. Now, of course, this leads to a bit of a mini game. Hey, I got Tychus. Where you're having to try and maneuver yourself to try and make sure that it actually hits them. Uh, you know, that uh, you're focusing on where the ring is. Like, I'm trying to focus on keeping the ring right there. So, as opposed to, like, blinking in and pew! Like, doing it, like, you know, just, like, getting damage all within the ring there. Nope. Now I have to, like, well, I have to make sure this tiny little sliver of the ring... I'm just, uh, I'm just a little disappointed because I was really hoping it was going to be, like, uh, you know, what I thought it was going to be. And it ends up being much more awkward and difficult than I thought. All right, so now we're going to go with Spite. Let me see if I can actually show how this works. Because it says that it's going to increase the duration. Hmm. By the way, here are some of his stats. He attacks for 77 uh, at, level, at level 4, by the way. Uh, one attack per second. His range is 4.5. No other, like, armor buffs or anything. Oh, he, uh, heals for 4.79 seconds. Regents for mana, 3.29 seconds. 
20 mana, 55 mana, 40 mana. So, you can perhaps see some of the I ideas and issues about him possibly being, uh, you know, going oom, as you might expect. With a built-in battle momentum, like, how often is he going to end up uh, being oom? I mean, for that brief period of time, he's going to be able to do a lot and do a lot of his abilities and damage, but at the same time, he could get oom quite quickly, I suspect. Not really sure how you can tell how it extends the duration of the regen globes. It's, it seems a bit confusing. But I think the tooltips for Mephisto are definitely confusing. Like, the, it needs more clarification. Like, I think Blizzard needs to help us uh, get a, you know, get some more clarification from, on his talents and his uh, kit. I'm going to go with the armor for the shade. Does it give Mephisto or just the shade? Oh, after... Okay, so it gives Mephisto the armor. Because it says it also gives it to him two and a half seconds after it expires. So that's around... About or around... Got combined there. Um, five seconds where you can have 20 armor. So it really does help encourage that aggressive gameplay for Mephisto. By the way, Tychus, it's great he's in this game because he actually got added today as a co-op commander for StarCraft II, which I plan to make a video of. The problem is apparently Blizzard services are uh, having some issues. So, gonna have to wait for that to get fixed before I can make the video on that because I want to. I want to try him out, start working on him because it seemed pretty cool on, in the preview. But anyway, we're kind of now getting caught up talking about Now look at this. I can be able to just sit here, have the ring just constantly do damage on Sergeant Hammer. Ah, oh, but of course while I'm tunnel visioned on looking at the ring and it damaging hammer, I'm not paying attention to Tychus focusing me down. <laughs> That's one of the, my my issues with uh, starting to get, try and get to learn to play Mephisto is I'm getting tunnel visioned on making sure the the outer ring is actually touching the enemy hero to do damage. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. Can you see why the issue of the uh, ring not doing damage in a certain area is an issue. At least for me, anyway. Oh, we're gonna pick up Consumed Souls. Now, remember, this does require a channel. Hello, Johanna. It's fitting. Also, Mephisto versus Johanna. Because he corrupted her Zakarum faith. Your pitiful Zacharoom. Alright, so this is what he does when you do the ult. Do, 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 do. And it did damage. Look at that. And because I did that damage, it helped Nazebo finish him off. So, you can see that that's going to be uh, quite an effective alt. How are we doing? Pretty pretty decently. I don't... My initial impressions is I don't think he's like an overpowered character. I think he, uh, he feels okay. He just does feel a little different and awkward because, for one thing, the tooltip is a little misleading but also some of his abilities don't really do what you think they're gonna do like if 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 it did damage within the entire ring i think that would be amazing and i think it would just be incredible all right we're gonna go with hysteria where now the trait will affect our alt
Of course, it doesn't work with uh, the um, the structures. Thank you. Kind of forgot what word to say there. Now, if you're going to use this to get away, you got to be careful because then they'll be waiting right there. Unless you get the swap. If you get the swap of 20, you could perhaps use it for that. Let it fester. I just go, and then I just go back. Look at them. Well, hello, Tychus. Oh, no, his laser. Oh, it focused on the minions. <laughs> if that had focused on me, I would have been dead. You will not elude my wrath forever. Hatred stirs within me. <laughs> see who gathers enough tribute for I would be surprised if it didn't. I mean, you're the lord of hatred. Shouldn't that be kind of a given? That you'd be full of hatred? Interesting he's got the uh, four arms thing. And I know I don't mean four arms. I mean like one, two, three, four arms. And I only say that because it kind of now makes him uh, look similar to uh, Queen Ajara. And that's only, I'm only thinking of that because of the recent Warbringers uh, cinematic they had. Because hey, looks like she's going to play a role. Later on in Battle for Azeroth. And then, then I see his model. I'm like, oh, it looks kind of similar. By the way, look at his mount animation. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. I mean, he's he's floating. But look at that. It's like the spirits and souls are like, oh, no. It's like, it, like they're anguish, in anguish in hell. Oh, man. That is... Whew. That is an animation right there. Okay. I'm going to go with Static Field. Percent damage abilities can be some of the strongest damage dealing abilities or talents in the game. They can be game changers, especially when you are looking to take out uh, certain uh, warriors. Like uh, these days with Garrosh, Meridian, or in this game's case, Johanna. Where are you going, Sergeant Hammer? The choice is simple. Look at that. I mean, we have other characters that do have their own unique mount animations, like uh, Ragnaros, Alarak, Zagara, but this. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. And that's only when he's mounted. When it's just the regular... Oh, hold on. Whoop, 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 whoop. Stukov. <laughs> okay. Oh, you see what I mean? It is so hard to try and properly do damage with that static field when you are having to try and maneuver this tiny, thin little ring as opposed to just having it do damage all within the ring. You see what I mean? You know, maybe that could be considered overpowered. You know, maybe people would consider that to be overpowered, but at the same time, like, doesn't that just make more sense, though? I now use my ult. Oh, but she got healed by Stukov before I could finish her off. That was, of course, before she just came back. <laughs> but then again, that's AI. Enjoy the, gift of the AI has been very stupid lately. Gather tribute. Uh, 
yeah. in AI games. Just at times just baffles me how bad the AI plays sometimes. Haka trying to push us out. Look at that. No damage by my ring on Stukov there. Because I couldn't quite get the right... Uh... I do love that when I queued up to launch, it'll launch from that location, even after I am already on my way back with, uh, to, to where my shade is. Level 20. Bonus damage. Hmm. Enough. The curse is over. Alright, I think this one's pretty obvious, but let's let's pick a Shade Lord and see if we can uh, test it out. Boom. And then boom. Okay, so that, as it now it does have a 60 second cooldown, that is important to know, okay? It is important to know that it does have a 60 second cooldown, but it does kind of present what I was thinking, uh, the possibility to uh, do some creative things with it, especially if you're using it to try and escape, because then you can just be able to use it to blink there, and then blink back, and then you can be able to blink here in order to try and safely get away. Because then they're going to think, uh, you know, you know, they're going to be completely thrown off by it. Plus, you're getting all three of those talents at level 7 uh, with movement speed, adding a slow, and getting armor. So it kind of just makes it all around better. Just It's just really good in that regard. Try and finish off Johanna. There we go. Woo. <laughs> exactly what I thought. Exactly how I hoped that was going to work. Let's see if this giant can get this uh, keep. Then again, I could just ping for my uh, AI teammates to go grab it. Like, finish off the keep! Get the core! Look at all that extra duration of that armor. Woo. So, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I personally love Mephisto. Maybe only because for my style, he seems a bit awkward. Um, to, to play anyway. I don't think I would regularly play him myself, but that's not to say that I think he's bad. I think he's good, and I think other players, if they do like this style, I think they're going to love him. And I think that uh, he's going to be able to do uh, pretty well and be really strong. I was hearing from some other 
uh, you know, better players than myself, guys like Chew8 and Dunk Train, like they were really liking him. They think he could be really, really good. Um, and I think so too. I think he's also pretty good. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, open this, see what I got. Hey, a Torin War Banner. Sweet. go so i think i think miss is pretty good um i think he you know i think uh, that some of his abilities and such like man i just wish that lightning nova worked the way i initially thought it was going to work because that would have been so cool and i think he would just be incredible but i think people they thought that was going to make him overpowered so that's probably why they they i guess they tried to make him very all balanced I don't see the Q being that big of a deal. I think the Lightning Nova with the Shade is going to be a good way to go. Um, of course, the Battle Momentum. He actually did not seem to run out of mana nearly as much as I thought he was going to. So maybe the Oom uh, thing is actually not going to be that much of an issue with him because it seemed to not really become an issue for me. Like, hardly that much at all. Um, so he seems pretty good. You know, I... I don't think he's over, I don't think he's overtuned, overpowered. Uh, he seems pretty well balanced to me, um, except you know some people probably think his ult is uh, pretty crazy, but I mean it does pretty good damage, but not an insane amount of damage. You know, um, I don't know. Time will tell. I gotta wait and see how everyone else reacts to him and you know receives him to, uh, on whether or not they think he's overpowered. I don't think he's you know that much, but then again. There are probably some people who are better tuned at the whole battle momentum thing than I am. But anyway. Now, there is something else that happened in this patch that I do want to take make a video on. Because I have been rather vocal in some of my videos, my A through Z videos anyway, about my dislike for a character's design. Uh, dis you know, be <laughs> despite how what role they are labeled in this game. Although I have heard they are actually going to be changing how roles in this game work. They're actually going to be changing that. So that's going to be some changes that are going to be coming in the future. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do it, but that's what they did say. But in regards to that, they did make some changes to a character that I have been very vocal uh, about not being happy of how they were designed. And that is Tronda. They actually have given her a rework where now she may actually be a support character again. <gasps> Gasp! And people are like, oh, she doesn't do as much damage as she... She's... You know, she doesn't do as much damage as she used to. She's a support. That's okay. She's not supposed to lead her team in hero damage. She's not an assassin. They actually have changed her to where she could actually be a healer for her team again. What a concept! But I'll talk more about that when we come back.